they told us, you know, he's going to do a lot of complications. Uh, his brain, his his lungs, almost his whole, all his organs were just not functioning properly. His heart started to stop working slowly and they said by the morning, if we'll be late, he will be there. He breathed at 15 minutes, but breathing was so weak that he cannot survive. So they have to do the intubation as supplementary. They continue, they hope that with the ventilation should resolve everything usually. But what happened? It was too late. And these toxins are from no oxygen all over the body put him into the circulatory failure, to heart failure and pulmonary complication. Condition is getting worse. It's out of control. So they have to do something because you will die. We put the picture under his head yeah. and the rosary on the light of the bed. So it was all next to him, but we didn't put the robe on him till we get him from back home. He was 10 days old. All the yeah. time we were at the hospital, we didn't hear anything like yeah. he's gonna be normal. I didn't hear this word. Yeah, there was no way, uh, no saying, you know, there's gonna be rehabilitation later on. They prepared me for like emergency seizure, like if he was home and he had a seizure, what, how, to, do? what to do. The test done, including MRI, didn't show a major damage to the brain, <coughs> nothing. In spite of having hypoxia for more than nine minutes. Doctors were trying to find something wrong with him. He's, he's healed. Happy, healthy. Just as a neutral evaluation of the situation, I went all, all over the papers and something unbelievable happened. We have pictures of when he was first born, you know, only a couple of them because it's, uh, it's hard to see those pictures when he was first born. But we believe that he needs to know the story of St. Gabriel and what he did to his life. The Lord's power through him is great. Jesus is there and he's willing to help everyone. Doesn't matter what they've done, uh, how bad they've been in life. No, he knows.